Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric, another episode on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. And today we're going to be doing a core review and comparison against original CPS2 hardware from Capcom. I've been putting this video off because I didn't want to review the Hotego cores when they were in beta, but now they are public as of the making of this video, so we can compare and contrast original CPS2 hardware against the Mr. implementation of that same platform. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined to want to support the channel we got a patreon link down there as well but you will see at least off the top the mister is much smaller than a cps2 board i love the cps2 it's an amazing system but it takes a lot to run you'll say i have a super gun and the board here we need to deal with the jamma edge we need to deal with a kick harness to get extra buttons on the joystick so hooking something like this up isn't infinitely hard but it can be a little bit more difficult and if you compare that directly to the mister it is a lot simpler so it is nice for people that aren't into arcade collecting one usb port will cover absolutely every input we need for the CPS2 cores versus the original hardware where you need to deal with the kick harness for three or four players or for extra buttons for a one to two player game including the JAMA Edge what comes off of that as well. And this is everything you need to get CPS2 running. You need a super gun with a arcade power supply. I use an ATX one actually. You need the board itself, a DB15 cable for the controller, a kick harness, and then a JAMA extension if you have your super gun in a case like I do. So it takes a lot of stuff to get this running. Compared to the Mister, all we need to do is plug a controller in via USB. And if you want to use an arcade stick, just use a Damon Byte adapter. I showed a video on how to make them and I'll link it below. So it's a lot easier to run this. But just because it's easier, the question should be, is it worth playing Capcom CPS2 games on the Mister versus the original hardware? Is it better? Is it worse? Is it about the same? That's what we're really talking about here. What I want to show you first is just some of the options. We have an old TV filter that just blurs it up. There's not a ton of options as far as the video is concerned in the core, but one you need to know about is service mode. Because unlike the CPS1 stuff that had a little bit more toggle in the menu, we have to go into the menu here. We turn that on and we're able to articulate any changes in the dip switches via software. That's how CPS2 was set up. Just be aware that when you want to exit, if you keep hitting exit, nothing will happen. You need to turn service mode off. That can be a little bit tricky for first case use, but that's how you do it. But taking a look right here at Street Fighter Alpha 3 on my original CPS2 board, these are direct captures from my super gun. This looks excellent to me. I love the CPS2. Graphically, it is amazing. All of the sprite work, all of the backgrounds are so incredibly detailed. And that means, since I played these a ton, I was really looking forward to seeing how close Hotego got with the cores. And I will say they are absolutely excellent. Now, of course, you're going to get a little bit different color saturation between HDMI and analog. Every piece of equipment's different, every super gun's going to give you slightly different results. But I will say when you directly compare the Hotego CPS2 cores on Mister to original hardware, it is near perfection. I don't say it's perfection because I'm sure there might be something in there that somebody catches, but I cannot see an indistinguishable difference between the original CPS2 hardware and the Mr. Implementation of it. I tested every single game on the CPS2 on Mr. to see if I could find anything that was notably different, and I found absolutely nothing except the difference in color. And like I said, that can be related to the super gun, that can be related to the capture device, that can be related related to analog versus HDMI, both look incredible. They look different, and that's because one's an analog source and one's a digital source. But when I put Pro Gear up here and I sync the frames of that intro animation, everything is spot on the money. There is no deviation. Now taking a look at the Mr. version here, it's running perfectly fine. It slows down where it should slow down. There's only slowdown in instances, other than me dying there, that was stupid, where it was programmed into the game or when everything got a little bit too busy. And moving over to original CPS2 hardware, you'll see that the color is a lot more muted and there's a little bit less detail in the environment, but both look absolutely amazing. And putting a frame by frame comparison again of Alien vs Predator, everything happens at the exact same time. And that's what I really use to gauge accuracy. I want to make sure that when there's a transition, if you line the frames up, everything matches exactly where it would. And in the intro to Alien vs Predator, everything is perfect there too. And that's what I keep finding over and over with this core is that I can't find a single area in which it didn't function how I expected. And I do like the vibrancy of the HDMI signal here in Alien vs Predator. You get a lot more detail on the wall than 
than you do with the original hardware. But moving over to another game, I want to talk more about the sound because the CPS2 had the Q sound chip just like the CPS 1.5 did and that's a really interesting sounding chip. So what I want to let you do is listen to a little bit of the game back and forth between the Mister and the original CPS2 hardware. So go ahead and listen. I'll put a little icon up of what you're watching and I'll be back in about 40 seconds. Yeah, no matter how you slice it, whether you're using the Mister or the original hardware, both sound absolutely incredible. Now you will see a slight difference here in 19XX, but I checked into that. The screen transition goes correctly until that plane leaves, but that is a regional difference between the version that Mister's using and the version on my CPS2 multi-board. So that is not at all an inconsistency, it's just a regional difference, and that does happen every once in a while. But this is a really good comparison, so you can see the color saturation between digital and analog. Both look really good. I have zero complaints about either of them. It is just a slight difference, and I have played these games on my PVM from Mister on the analog RGB, and it is less vibrant. But I do really like the vibrancy, especially in a game like this, because it really just does look exactly how I remember CPS2 games looking, and that is absolutely incredible. And that's why this core is so amazing, because I do have a series on the Capcom CPS2, and I'll leave a link to it below. But it's really big hardware. If you want to play this in your living room, it can take up a lot of space. If you have a dedicated arcade cabinet, it's much easier. But even here, we're taking a look at Vampire Savior 2 up against Vampire Hunter 2. They're slightly different, but they do share the same screens. And you'll see that both look amazing. And this is an instance where I actually like the analog look slightly better because it kind of tones down those pinks in the background that are a little bit more intense on the HDMI. But these are all just subjective things that are down to how the signal works, the capture card, my individual editing system. They can all ever so slightly change colors. So there is no such thing as getting 100% accurate representation of what the game is supposed to look like because there's all that hardware in between. And we'll say in analog, you get a lot better waviness on those lines there, though, compared to the digital. So I think this is one of those cores where using an analog signal is going to be really nice. But on top of all the comparisons I've shown you, there's a ton of other games that are just amazing on the Capcom CPS2, like Dungeons & Dragons Tower of Doom here is an absolutely amazing beat-em-up with RPG elements. And you have stuff like the original Marvel vs. Capcom. I have played the ever-loving hell out of all these games in arcades and on my CPS2 original hardware, and playing them on the Mist feels like it's exactly the same hardware. I can't tell a single difference between any of these games when I put them next to each other. The only difference I can tell is my CPS2 board with a super gun and all the cabling next to my TV if I want to play from the living room is absolutely massive where the mister is tiny and much easier to work with. Now that's really the question here though is do you want the original hardware or do you want to use a mister? And that's not a question that I can easily answer for any single person. Obviously, I own an original CPS2 setup and I absolutely love it. I have the Darksoft multi board on there. It's a great way to play all of the games. And I do have some individual B boards for some of my favorite games as well. Do you need to go out and buy a CPS2 with a multi setup to enjoy these games? Absolutely not. You can 100% play on a mister. And the size advantage is great because not everyone has all the room to store these boards in their closet and maintain and collect them because all of the original B boards have suicide batteries and they can be a real pain to deal with where obviously Mr. doesn't have that issue whatsoever. But what I can say is the Hotego cores for CPS2 on Mr. are absolutely spectacular works of coding and engineering. They are flawless. And if you want to play CPS2 games as close to the original hardware as you can get, 100% play them 
them on the mister. I can't recommend it enough. But if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love chatting. If you've played these before, let me know what you think and how your setup works. Or if you need help setting it up, by all means, leave me a question down below. I will happily answer each and every one of them. Short of that, I will be back next Friday with another episode on Mr. And I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But do me a huge favor. Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. It definitely helps me out. But yeah, CPS2 on Mr. 100% amazing. Bye-bye.